Let's go to Romans chapter 13, verses 1 through 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And let me just do it. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. So what is that saying there? Let everyone be subject to governmental officials. Before you say anything crazy or disagree with what I am saying, let me finish the whole thing. For there is no power but of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. So this is saying the people that are in power now, they are ordained of God. If you read in the Old Testament, the nation of Israel had many corrupt, evil kings. According to what this is saying, they were ordained by God. And you may say, well, why does God do that? Many reasons. I know that when the nation of Israel would serve idol gods and sin against God, God would raise up an enemy nation to take over the nation of Israel. And look, Sometimes people are not going to do right until the rulers persecute them, until the people feel pain. So what God would do to the nation of Israel, he would place enemy nations over Israel and persecute and kill them. Then they would come to their senses and ask God for help. So God would punish them by giving them evil rulers. Does that make any sense? So when you choose to disobey God, what do you believe God is going to do? Give you evil rulers? Have nations take over you? So on and so on. But the powers that be from verse 1, they are ordained by God or of God. So God has placed them in power. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Verse 2, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So you are resisting the authority of God when you are resisting the people that are in power. Now, let me say this. If the people in power are telling you to cut yourself or to kill your babies or to kill yourself, of course, don't follow any rules that are going to disobey God as in but if these people are telling you to pay your taxes to pay this do this get car insurance so on and so on you have to do it any rule that does not go against the Bible you pretty much have to do it this is saying don't resist governmental officials, the people that are in power because God is the one that put them in power. And if you don't obey, you will receive damnation. And I am not cussing. That is not a curse word. <laughs> okay, verse three. Let me see, where am I? 
So damnation is pretty much punishment. And if you die in that way, you are going to go to hell. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, I believe I read that. Verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works. So this is saying many of the time, unless you get really evil people or something like that, but rulers are not really going to harm you if you abide by the rules. I know in some cases, when you go by the rules, you still may be persecuted and stuff like that. Yes, I understand. But what from this, from what this is saying here, as long as you are doing what they tell you to do, even if you believe that it is unfair, they are not going to bother you too much. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. So when you choose to disobey them, they are going to punish you. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good. So do what they tell you to do. If it goes against the Bible, of course, don't do it. Like if they tell you to take the mark of the beast, to take that microchip, of course, don't do it. <laughs> because God's law is over the ruler's law. So if the ruler is not telling you to do anything that is sinful, you have to do it. Even if you disagree with what they say. This is what the Bible is saying now. <laughs> okay. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. So if you do what they tell you to do, you are not going to have trouble from them in many cases. Verse 4. For he is the minister of God. So they are the minister of God to thee for good. So God has placed them in power for your good. But if thou do that which is evil, so if you do if you don't follow their rules, be afraid. <laughs> For he beareth not the sword in vain. So what does that mean there? They have the power to punish you. For he is the minister of God. It says that twice. God himself placed that ruler in power. That person is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So when you choose to disobey them, not pay your taxes, taxes, committing crimes and stuff like that, they have the power to punish you. Okay, verse 5. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath so be subject to them not only for punishment or whatever else but also for your conscience sick you know when you do something wrong at least for some of us you will get a guilty conscience so don't do it only so abide by their rules not only because they have the power to punish you but do it for your conscience as well verse 6 for for this cause pig ye tribute tribute also tribute is taxes right for they are God's ministers he said this like three times they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. So pay them tribute. 
If there are taxes that you have to pay, make sure you pay them. I know that there are some people that cheat on their taxes and stuff like that. What you are doing is wrong. You have to pay them taxes because it is God that has placed them in power. Okay, let me read my notes here and see what I placed. So pay your taxes because God has them ruling over you as a job. Okay. Verse 7. Render therefore to all their duties tribute to whom tribute is due. So pay your taxes. Custom to whom custom. I believe custom is fees, toll, I guess. Fear to whom fear. And honor to whom honor. So... I believe with fear, they mean respect. So, respect to whom respect, and honor to whom honor. So, you have to respect your governmental officials. Well, Kevin, I still disagree with you because I am very hard-headed. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, right? <laughs> Romans chapter 13, verses 1 through 7. You have to obey your governmental officials. So when is the time you don't have to obey them? It's when they are telling you to do something sinful. Like, hey, I want you to pull down your pants and blah, blah, blah. That is sinful. You don't have to do that. Hey, I want you to punch me. That is sinful. You don't have to do that. Hey, I want you to pay your taxes. You have to pay your taxes. Don't cheat on your taxes. Put everything in your taxes. Everything you owe. Don't cheat. Because you are going to reap what you sow. Listen, man. If... If a person came to you and said, hey, every single day, I am going to have a camera on you <laughs> all day long. And whatever you do, say and think, I am going to know about it. So would you do anything evil if you know that someone is watching you the whole entire time? They can hear you all day every day they can see you all day every day would you do anything sinful or stupid if they have the power to punish you no you have to know that man my lord there are demons and angels everywhere everything you are saying and doing is being written down Whatever you do, you are going to reap what you sow. So even if you believe that what you are doing is really small, yes, it is bad, but it is really small, you are going to have to reap that. That is going to come back to you in punishment. You are not getting away with anything. Look back at the times, man, my Lord. Look back at the times when bad things has happened to you. Okay. Now, before that, think about the bad things that you were doing around that time period. Before that. Why don't you connect your evil deeds with the punishments? Will Kevin, you know, bad things just happen to people? No. You are reaping. You are not getting away with anything. The reason why, man, one of the many reasons why I stopped doing many bad things, one of the main reasons, because I knew that everything that I was doing 
was coming back to me in the form of punishments, either through illness, pain, car trouble, so many things. Ever since I have lived for God, yes, you know, demonic attacks and stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. But my quality of life have gotten a lot better in all things. I don't have to worry about anything anymore. Before, I am going off subject now, but before I used to worry about going broke and I would work all these hours and I was saving money. No matter how much money I saved, I always had the fear of going broke. And I would save up and save up and have, you know, some money and stuff like that. But I was always in fear along with other things. Now that fear is gone. I don't have that fear of going broke or losing my car and stuff. I don't have that anymore. I have peace. What is the point of having so much money when you have no peace? Back then, I had way more money than I have now, but I did not have peace back then. I'd rather have peace than a bunch of money, because how can you enjoy your money when you are calculating everything and worrying if this happens, if that happens and stuff? Man, my Lord, I pray that this makes sense. So follow God's rules because you are not getting away with anything, man. You are not. Sometimes some demonic thoughts comes to my mind. You know, demons trying to place thoughts into your mind. And they tell me to do this and that and this. And I say no because I am going to reap what I sow. Yes, I may enjoy it at that time period, but I am going to have to pay. I am going to have to pay and I don't want to pay. I want things to be good. I want to get blessed by God, not cursed. I am tired of being cursed. I had enough of curses. I want blessings. My Lord, I pray that this makes sense. Do right by God because everything is being watched. So even if demons are placing crazy thoughts into your mind, even if demons are trying to push you to do mean things to people, you are being watched and you are going to reap what you sow. So even if a person deserves to be cursed out, <laughs> even if a person deserves you know, for me to slash their tires or something like that, I am not going to do it because I know that I will have to pay at the end of the day. I am going to have to pay. And it is not good, man. It is not good. So I pray that this makes sense. Truly, truly, truly take heed to what I am saying because you are continuing to get cursed, punished by God, and you are wondering why it is happening. It is connected to your prior sins. My Lord, I can do many evil things. I can get the things I want and make extra money and stuff like that, but I don't do it because I know that I will pay for that, not in a good way. And only if you could see my life or could have seen my life back when I was younger, when I was in sin, it was horrible, man. It was terrible. I did not know what happiness was. I did not. Only when I started to serve God I started to really 
experience what happiness is. Now, that may sound funny, but <laughs> I am being so honest. <laughs> I am serious. I did not know because the way that I felt back then, it is hard to explain. I wasn't really too down and I wasn't happy. I was in that middle ground, I guess you can say. Like not even content. I don't know what name you would call that. Anyways, God bless.